That is when you're at college level. When people are like, hey, let's take this shit that sucks naturally and add it to our drink to make it better. That's because you're saying, here's a shitty ass drink and you're going to add mix to it so that you can make it not as shitty so by putting a mediocre mi mix in there. Yeah. It's, you might as well, and this is better for you, I think, this is all theory, is get a fucking watermelon, cut it in half, put a bottle of vodka in it. At least you can claim some level of nutrition. Yeah. I think. You're getting some watermelon in it. <laughs> so this is, we sell these, these are easy release ice cube trays. They're called easy release. So everybody's like, so it just works. No. It's easy release. It's easy, but you have to also be slightly smart about how you do it. Yeah. All right, here's the problem. People have no patience anymore, right? If you fill this with water, you freeze it up, they're frozen in here. Yes. Ice, frozen, right? So people will go, okay, well, these must be guaranteed for life. Twist, snap, snap. They get all these things out. Some are probably still stuck in there. They just broke into pieces. They're like, can I have more? And I'm like, sure. You know what? I've got all these sitting here that I just ship them on another one, right? And I'm like, now, be patient. Take your ice. Put it on the counter. It's small ice cubes. You can it's let that temper yeah. uh, two minutes, right? Just let it get a little sheen of water on it. Then, if you just take out like, I would use either like a cloth or something to go like this, they're all gonna fall out. Two minutes. What do you need to do that you can't wait two minutes? Right. Here's the problem. While balance isn't always needed, there is a deliciousness about having a cocktail in balance. It, okay, great example. If you just got, you just, you just went and mowed the lawn, and you're sweating. If I just go, here's a lemon. Oh, I probably punch you in the face. Right. Yeah. It's violence. Violence happens when, right. <laughs> when, when somebody does that. I mean, this, I can shoot you now. Right. I know, but so there's that. This is like violence. <laughs> I probably. This is slightly Dude, violent. I I know, this is like packing heat. <laughs> it is. No, it, you, it's, Jennifer doesn't think it's sour enough. I don't know how that is. No, not sour. I didn't say it she, wasn't not sour. Not sour. Enough. But without sugar in here, it's violent. Club soda, citrus club soda, refreshing. Mm. I like a little bit of acidity. I'm fine with that. But you can't shove lemons in my face and then go, huh, a light, refreshing college drink. Not light and refreshing. Harsh, abrasive, want to punch you in the face if you give it to me. Basically, popularity di dictates what makes a martini, right? You add chocolate vodka, and you add chocolate liqueur, and you add chocolate, and you have a chocolate martini. Because it's in the glass, it's shaped like, you can put it in the coupe, it's not called a chocolate coupe. It's not, it, 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 what, that's it nothing, call it, chocolate coupe it has nothing, and that's the delineation is, martini drinkers go, that's bullshit. The, the gin and the vodka, we'll argue that for days. But this is not even close. They shouldn't even, I mean, this shouldn't be called a martini, but everybody now is cool with the fact that I can order this and I'm probably over the age of 65 because I was at the restaurant and all people know how to drink, man. They've been doing like, it their whole lives, they're professionals. They got this, all I'm these- Sorry, they got time. They got little shakers and all the all these fake, fake weird drinks on them. I just think that you should just stop with the martini thing. That's just, a, that's bad. Throw some blue cures out. But you throw, if you made that sweeter, it's still not a fucking martini. It doesn't have the right ingredients in it. That's all I'm saying. There you go. Throw some green. I forget people who created recipes in the past, but from this point on, I drew a line in the bar. <laughs> no one should ever create a cocktail with a splash because okay. it's not a measure. You have no way of defining to one person what a splash is. It's a little tough to recreate a splash. From right. That bar. If you go back to the 1800s when they used a wine glass as a measure, and this as a measure, and that as a measure, and like all these weird things. At least things. it was a ratio. It was a ratio, but they also, they didn't have anything else to go on. We've learned! It's been a hundred fucking years! I'm gonna call a splash three-eighths of an ounce today. Sounds good. So is a splash more than a quarter of an ounce? Is it more than a dash? Is it more than a dripple? Like, what's a dripple? I don't. I can just keep making shit up. It does. That's the thing. Is it doesn't measure. I know what a drupal is. Even if you say a or, teaspoon or a tuple, a bar spoon. It's a measurable quantity that you can use. I can't tell you what a fucking splash is. <laughs> fucking high fructose corn syrup. Let me tell you what. This is why you should buy actual grenadine. 
This has what is known as Thanks. pomegranates. You've heard of them? It's a it's fucking fruit. fruit, right? You take pomegranates, you add sugar, and you get that. Grenadine. Right? It's grenadine. That's all it has to be. You don't need high fructose corn syrup. You don't have to be fucking $2 to make your product. People will pay money to buy real product. They do it on AwesomeDrinks.com. If you can't pronounce the ingredients on the back of a grenadine bottle, I mean, the put only, it down. This has a citric acid and that's a preservative. That's preservative. Right, but it's not hard to say. Citric acid is not new. No. Right, it exists in the wild, it's a thing. Here, there's probably some here if I squeeze it, right? It's absorbic acid. Whatever, yeah, yeah, that's okay. the other one is and next acid. too far away. I don't know what citric acid is. Too. Listen, you can get citric acid, it's a thing. This is a cranberry. No. No. This is not a cranberry. This is a grapefruit. Oh, this is an orange. They look close. The beautiful thing is, if it looks like these, if you cut them open and you squeeze them this into is, your cocktail. Just for reference, this is a cranberry. <laughs> that's a cranberry. If you, you squeeze. Juice or juice them, you can't yeah, that's. Them. Don't do that by hand. You can tell all the time. <laughs> it's impossible. These two things, 100% chance. Your cocktail is going to be better using these two things. Definitely. Get the pineapple juice, not the same. Your hands are flying all around that glass. Is I'm go good. I, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> completely aware of where my hands are at all times. Um, pineapple juice is up. Got that over, Jim. <laughs> uh, pineapple juice, when you get the canned stuff, it leaves a foam and it's kind of nice. It is. And it, fresh pineapples are great, but they don't get the foam. These always are better, so just cut your goddamn fruit. Squeeze it into your goddamn drink and drink the fucking thing because it's going to taste like awesome. And you can get a big bag of oranges for like three bucks. It's cheaper than orange juice. And we're in New sure. England. We're not even in orange places. I don't, I'm not, Florida, Georgia, I don't uh, care about Florida and California. I don't have any skates. I'm not part of the Orange Juice Foundation trying to make money for these guys and the Grapefruit Foundation. Just squeeze your fucking fruit. It's so much better. That's all I'm saying. Better than drinking the gas. Well, it's it, pretty good. It's good. So vermouth in it. But what bothers me most is that we, as a society, have absolutely no problem with just using fake colorings, artificial everything to make a, a drink, just to bring down the cost. Like, if you you get so used to people are so used to spending like thirty seven cents for a little squeezy barrel of fruit juice. Like you, like those little barrels you poke oh, yeah, yeah. your finger in as a kid, you suck down these things. There's nothing in there but like, sure. not even sugar. It's like, it's like refined syrups. syrups and artificial flavors and color. Yeah. These guys are making a product that's legit, right? And people are no doubt they're gonna be like, you're gonna pay twelve ninety nine for four sodas when these are the same people that are gonna go buy four Budweisers for like three times the cost out at a restaurant. I would rather appreciate four bottles of really good product made by people who have a passion for the product hmm. than four a case of mass-produced mass bullshit. Yet I still like my Coke Zero. Like, I can't buy uh, the, the Mexican Cokes I want or the, the products I want. So, be, because people won't buy them. And in my stores, they're like, oh, we don't sell that. I'm like, you sell organic peaches, right, that are three times the cost of a normal peach. But soda and all the other stuff, you just sell the, the manufacturer shit. So people want to get in this like, oh, we're organic and good and tasty uh, with but this stuff. Yeah. yeah, and then you have all the rest of the stuff you buy. Like, it would be cool to have, imagine like Cheez-Its that were made with cheese or something. Like well, we're- Apparently they are. Oh yeah, I don't know, maybe they are. Because I'm just they wait for their cheese to mature. <laughs> really? Stop calling people names. Yeah. Uh, you clearly have never seen the commercial. I am sorry, Jesus. You're probably real, yeah, and I didn't see the marketing stuff by it. I'm just trying to pick something, but it's like we need, we have for since the 50s and before, everything's canned food and cheap, 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 and now the last two generations are just, and I'm part of that, we're used to like, I should, why can't I get everything I want for 37 cents? Like, why am I going to spend three extra dollars on this just because it's real? Gimme, gimme. Right? I think that there's a good market, if not there should be, for products like this to say, you want know make a cocktail with some real stuff. So you want to support the show, but you can't all afford the click that Patreon link over here and support us via donations. Well, did you know watch time is the biggest factor in YouTube? That means if you watch one of the videos below here, you'll actually increase the view time credits for the video you're watching right now. That's pretty cool, right? So watch more videos.